New disturbing accusations in a story that already has many of you up in arms. Tucson Greyhound Park under fire over the weekend after a dog was killed Friday, electrocuted mid race. Not in your side brought you this disturbing video last night. Look closely and you can see dog four in green being pushed off course to its death. Tonight, some say such tragedies are all too common. Maggie Vespa joins us live from the newsroom with this story. Maggie. Guys, Stella Park owners are still staying silent tonight. Their opponents, anything but, sending us these reports, which they say show how dogs at Tucson Greyhound Park rack up injuries in staggering numbers. They called Friday's video proof. This track in particular, a kill, known in the industry as a kill track. Tonight, animal rights advocates pile on the evidence. In the form of new injury reports turned over, they say, by the Arizona Department of Racing. The documents detail how in 2013, race after race, dog after dog, this form of entertainment turned lethal. The official uh, ruling of the judges is a no race for race 14. Dogs with broken legs, torn muscles, torn webs between their toes, dislocated toes, and puncture wounds. The reports covered June through December of last year. In all, 57 injured dogs, nearly two per week. It's clear that Tucson Greyhound Park does not want the public to know what is happening to greyhounds. Christine Dorchak is the president of Grey 2K USA, an East Coast based group. Group that fights dog racing nationwide. They pass these reports exclusively to not on your side and say what's most disturbing is what they lack. But there's no information about any treatment given to the Greyhound, and there's no indication of the fate of the Greyhound. Great 2K USA has been tracking the Tucson Greyhound Park for years. Dorchak says years ago, records were much more detailed. These saved by Great 2K USA from 2008 show not just injuries, but when they happened, where on the track, even the dog's disposition. And when EUT appeared at the top of the page, Dorchak says that dog was euthanized. She argues public pressure has put details on the back burner. Not on your side wanted to hear what the park had to say. Our cameras are not allowed inside the park, but I just spoke with track general manager Dale Pop both about Friday's race and about these new reports. His reply on both topics, no comment. Races continued as scheduled today. And Dorchak says that group is working with Arizona state lawmakers calling for one better reporting or shutting down the track altogether. Matt on your side reached out to the Arizona Department of Racing, who is investigating Friday's death. They have yet to comment about these reports. Guy.